Hi everybody, I'm Susan and this is my channel, Susan's Road Less Traveled. Today's story is another installment of it, Adventures in Bustum. And this one is about my wedding day to Charles on April the 27th, 2013. And we of course had decided to use the bus as our getaway vehicle. And so after the ceremony and the reception, we're all packed up, we're ready to drive away and the bus won't start. And I had known for the year and a half that I'd owned it prior to this, that one of the issues with that was that the choke in the left side carburetor would get stuck. And so I'd have to just pop out, jump in, you know, pop the engine open and unstick the choke. And then I, it'd work and off I'd go. And so we both got out of the car and the family had just literally done the wave for us and were kind of dancing around in the parking lot all happy and then standing there laughing at us because the bus wouldn't, wouldn't start. So uh, I tried and then Charles tried to get into the back and we got it unstuck and then we finally drove off. And so that was just kind of a humorous start to our uh, honeymoon adventure. And so we had decided to go to New Mexico for our honeymoon. So one of the connections that we realized literally on our first date was our love for the state of New Mexico. And I grew up visiting New Mexico my whole life because my dad's family was from there. And he had just made one trip to Taos to ski many, many years ago. And that experience just stuck with him to the point where he wanted to go back so much and so it was just a, a cool connection that we had so we went to new mexico for our honeymoon and uh one of the trips that we made as we drove around the state we went to albuquerque and santa fe and taos and one of the the offshoot little towns um that you can go to is called las vegas and it is the original las vegas um, and there's an old hotel there that um, is part of my family's history, another story for another day. And on our way to visit this hotel and do this whole enchanted loop that there is on the map, please try it, it's beautiful. Um, we were passing a junkyard and the thought occurred to me to to stop there and ask if there were any buses in this junkyard. Now the reason that I asked this was that flashback a year before, we had gone on a camping trip locally in South Carolina over the 4th of July weekend and it had literally rained for three days. I mean, it was everything was a sopping wet mess, it was hot and humid, it just poured, 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 and it was just the most miserable camping trip I think I've ever been on. And part of our attempt on that weekend was to camp, quote unquote, off grid. So we had bought a generator and had it in the back of a truck that we borrowed from my parents so that it was sitting up off the ground and it was powering a window air conditioning unit that I had come up with the idea of mounting in the driver's side window, see another video with regard to that, and you know, to get air into the, vid into the van. And so ensuing with the air running, it pouring down rain, it was just, everything was wet. And so we finally decided to pull out of there. And as we were packing up and when we left, I realized that the cover that was on my steering wheel, which was this old leather, it's still there now today, but it was just sopping wet and it was disintegrating in my hands as I gripped the steering wheel. And so I had this bright idea to lay a towel over top of the steering wheel and I would grip the towel instead of the leather because it was just peeling off in my hands. And so we drove off and we were driving down this little one lane country road 
and I went to make a turn and turned the wheel, but as the wheel corrected back, the towel hooked onto my turn signal handle and it started to pull the handle in an unnatural way. And as I was trying to stop it because it was gonna pull the handle, the turn signal handle off, um, I was trying to stop it from not doing that. I nearly drove into a ditch on the side of the road and so decided I gotta pick one or the other. I didn't wanna go into a ditch. So it corrected and the towel just jerked the whole turn signal off of my steering column. And so I just burst into tears. I was a blubbering mess. We pulled into this little church parking lot to get off the road and kind of get situated. And the minister was coming out at the time and he asked me if I was all right because I was crying so hard and it was just, it was terrible. So we ended up going back to my parents' house, which was like a mile away. A cousin came over that was there for the weekend and we spent, I don't know, 30 or 40 minutes dismantling the steering how the the steering column housing in order to get the steering turn signal off and two wires had shorted out together so the whole time all of this was going on my horn was just blaring and anybody that knows and owns a VW knows what a VW horn sounds like and it was just blaring constantly for 30 minutes while we tried to get this whole thing going, uh, this whole thing fixed. So anyway, that was just a really bad decision on my part. And I hadn't had a turn signal for a year. So back to New Mexico, we're driving by this, this junkyard and I just said, huh, I wonder if there's a bus in there. And so we're going nowhere we're on our honeymoon so we whip into this place and lo and behold there's two buses in there and we borrowed a couple of tools from the guy that owned the place and we ended up junking a turn signal out of an old tin top bus and five hubcaps and we spent about two hours doing that and when we got back you know we brought everything back with us in our suitcase and when we got back, Charles fixed the turn signal on the bus. And that was just one of the um, funny uh, trips and experiences that we would have. And I still have a neon green zip tie holding my housing together um, on my steering column. So. Just another fun adventure in Bustum with Alice, the VW. Thanks everybody for listening, for watching. Like, subscribe, share. One of these days I'll, I'll go viral. Have a blessed day. Bye.